Remember kids, don't try this at home. We think we're professionals. We used eye protection and hearing protection during the course of this test. Uh, James CH95 from Chief Delphi here. Um, we are gathered here today in the black clippered air tanks. There's been speculation that Clippard changed the composition or the additives in the plastic so that these will not fail in such a brittle fashion as the white tanks did. So that's what we want to test. We also have two tanks, so we're going to set them next to each other. These two tanks. Ta-da. We're going to set them next to each other, make one fail, and see if it takes out the other one. Most teams have more than one air tank. Most teams with more than one air tank mount them right next to each other because it's convenient to do so. Uh, if one tank failure causes all the other ones next to it to fail as well, we just we have a more serious compounded <laughs> threat um, or safety concern. Uh, so that's what we want to test. Test conditions. It's about 55 to 65 degrees, um, well within the rated temperature range of the tanks. More test conditions. We'll be testing at 120 PSI. Uh, just like our previous test, we'll be using a pellet gun to induce failure in the tanks. Again, we're not here to test failure mechanisms. More about the black tanks. They do have the molded in push to connect fittings, which alleviates a lot of the concern of over tightening, but it's still a plastic tank. Um, you can see the part number and the rating here. It's the standard tank that pretty much every first team has traded up to or purchased new this year. It might be added that these tanks are brand new. They have never been pressurized before. So, second tank did not rupture. That's good news. First tank, however, lots of brittle failure. Still making a lot of shrapnel, which isn't very safe. Uh, it took a direct hit on the tank to cause it to fail rather than just a light glancing blow. Um, I don't know if that's really better or worse than the white tanks, but it did take several shots to get it to detonate. Um, we did find relatively large pieces of shrapnel like this one, uh, about 50 feet away. Uh, there are numerous other bits and pieces of shrapnel ranging in size, uh, but they're all quite sharp and dangerous. Um, we found them anywhere between 10 and 50 feet away from where the tank detonated. Get some more. <laughs> One other thing, uh, the design was changed to eliminate casting voids near the ends of the tanks, which we haven't noticed the ends of the tank, or in this first test, the ends of the tanks didn't fail, and we haven't seen any voids. Uh, you can see here, what was once solid material is now broken out into reinforced webbings, um, which is better for casting and molding, um, and apparently adequate for strength. There are five hits. See here, there, here, a couple other places. Five hits, the tank did not fail. That's pretty good. It's a lot better than the white tanks were doing. So, I guess what we can conclude is that the black tanks do have better design features, they're less likely to have manufacturing flaws, and they appear to be more robust structurally. They appear to be less likely to fail than the white tanks. Certainly an upgrade from a white tank, but you should really stick with metal just because they, if it does fail, it will make shrapnel and it could hurt people. You asked and we delivered uh, James H95 and Andy A from Team 95 here with the structure testing. about a 15 or 16 grain lead pellet. Probably not going to do much to a stainless steel metal tank. So, we're just going for broke and we're using a Mosin Nagant with a 762 by 54 millimeter round. 
military surplus circa World War II. So, let's see what happens. So, we are at the super secret firing range in New Hampshire. We're going to be doing a double test. We're going to be detonating a metal tank next to a plastic tank to really show the difference between the two. So our target, one metal tank in front of a plastic tank with a laptop backer because we had it. Plastic tank failure, very bad. Metal tank failure, less bad. <laughs> 